I feel like counselling is definitely a big one, like exterior counselling. And just because you're over 18 and you're not considered in care, there are still a million and one things going on in your life. Um, a lot of meetings still for social workers, families. Um, issues could arise at any point. Move in, accommodation, um, all of that, it, it could be quite heavy, um, especially on mental health. So I feel like having an exterior counsellor to go to at any point, to, to go to at any point during the year or even during holidays or, or even if it could be at any point in time because you don't know when you're going to have a midlife crisis for example. So being able to have that at any point would be so beneficial. Like I could count so many times where I wish I had someone, where I wish I could just call to say help please, I need someone to talk to, um, but I didn't have that. So I just had to kind of do it all alone and get through it and it was difficult because it affects your education. I mean I had to take time off uni um, now and again because I just couldn't do it. Um, there was so much going on in my personal life that I just couldn't do it. Um, Another reason why I think counselling would be really beneficial um, is because, for instance, accommodation can be quite challenging whilst you're um, a care experienced young person at university. Um, I know a lot of young people who have to stay at their uni accommodation whilst all their family or all their friends go on to their families' homes to celebrate Christmas or holidays together. And again, that can be quite lonely. And to be able to have someone that you could say hi or just you could just say that you're not really enjoying this time experience now then you tell them that your friends are gone. Um, yeah, again, that's where the counselling would come in and help.